In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test any application for process death. So you can download an app from the App Store, you could run an app in Android Studio, whatever you wanna do, doesn't matter. As long as you have a, a phone that you can plug into your computer, we can test that app for process death and, make, and see if it functions correctly and the state is restored even in the event of a process death. So in front of me here, I have uh, the App Store. I've downloaded this app. This is not an app that I created, so I don't have access to the code or anything like that. I don't even ha have Android Studio open. I just have the app installed on my phone. And now we are going to um, explore the processes, the active processes on my device, and then we're gonna kill the process and see if it uh, acts correctly. All right, so I have the app open here. And just for those of you who are wondering, you know, I didn't choose this app for any particular reason. I just happened to be, I just did the app reviewing video and I was reviewing this one and it was my favorite. So I decided to, you know, showcase it in this video too. All right, so I have the app running. So now what you wanna do is you wanna navigate into the application. Into the application means like, just go somewhere into the app and do some things. And now now we're gonna start uh, testing process death. So the first thing I gotta do here is I gotta open up a command prompt to, uh, to where ADB is installed on my computer. So in my case, I have to go to, here I'll just show you my Windows Explorer. I have to go to App Data, Local, Android, SDK, Platform Tools, and there you have the ADB executable inside of this directory. So for me now, I've changed my Windows registry so I can just shift right click and go to, oh, I have to click on the folder. So if I go back, I go to Platform Tools, shift right click, and I go to Open Command Window here. Um, again, you won't have this option because I've changed my Windows registry to show that option. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to like open up a command prompt uh, just wherever you can, and then you want to navigate to wherever this is located on your computer. For me, it's this, so I'm just going to copy this path, and I'm going to write CD and write in this path. And when on Windows, you have to use a double slash here if you're navigating through directories. So just uh, double backslash on all of these, and it'll take you to wherever your uh, wherever your SDK is installed. So clicking enter, notice there we go. Now I'm, I'm, I'm in the correct directory. Now I can type ADB shell and get access to, uh, oh, I need to go inside platform tools. So inside platform, platform tools, and now I write ADB shell, and that gives me access to the device. So now I have access to the application through ADB. So now, uh, so basically what that means is I have access to the operating system on the device. So I can literally write Unix commands here and get information about the device. So if I was to type PS, for example, that is going to list some of the processes on the device. If I did PS-A, that's gonna list every process that is currently running on this device. I'll actually make this a little bigger. So you can see there's tons that are running right now, tons of processes that are running. So how do I filter this to find the process that I'm interested in? The process that I'm interested in is this meme maker application. So you wanna try and filter on the package. So right now I'm gonna guess and try and find what this package is. So I'm doing PS-A and I'm doing a concatenation symbol. So in Unix, this is like, if I wanna do something and then also something else, so I'm gonna do a grep, grep is the second command. This is like a search function, I'm searching for something. So I'm gonna do find all the processes and grep a package, so I'm gonna do meme. So this app is named Meme Maker, so I'm guessing that the package is gonna contain the word meme somewhere in it. So if I click enter, boom, there we go. We see that the package is com.meme. That is the package that we're interested in. Now that we have the package, and, and um, now we can kill the process manually. But before, before we do that, I want you to notice, some, notice something. Make note of this. This is the process ID. Every um, application, everything that happens on your phone has a unique process ID. So when the process dies, we get a new process ID generated. So that's how we're gonna check to make sure that we actually did kill the process. So now that we, we have the process ID, we have the package, I'm gonna send this to the background and I'm going to manually kill the process. So how do I manually kill the process? I write am kill and then the package. So in that case, it's com meme. So that is going to kill the process. So now if I was to do PSA grep meme, notice that, that nothing's running. So that process was definitely killed because we can't find it in the list of processes on the device. So now what I wanna do is reopen the app and notice that the app basically restarts. So what this means to us is that we, we launched the app, we went somewhere to the app, we killed the process, and we relaunched the app and it basically restarted. That means that it doesn't handle process death correctly. It does not effectively restore the instant state. What we should have saw is whatever meme I was in, I think it was this one, uh, we should have saw this page get 
brought right back into view as soon as the app was restarted. As, as a last kind of thing here that I wanna show you, I just wanna show you that it does in fact uh, create a new process. So if I do the PS grep again, notice that this new process ID is different than the previous one. So we, we started the app, we killed the process, we restarted it, and it did not uh, show the correct state. So we would say that this app fails the process death check. Just to show you what it looks like uh, for an app that does handle process death correctly, I'm gonna open up one of my applications, the app that we built in the powerful Android apps course. That's this open API app right here. Uh, so if I just you know click in here, go here, go here, I'm just clicking around the app, going to edit the profile screen. I'm gonna send this to the background. Now we, we are gonna find the process name. So ps-a, uh, we wanna do a grep. And I'll do, I know the package contains coding with Mitch, so I'm searching for it. There it is, com coding with Mitch open API. Uh, now I'm going to kill the process. So am kill, write the package name, click enter. Now I'm gonna grep that again. Notice there is no process running. Now I'm going to uh, relaunch the app and see if it launches in the same state, which it does. Notice we're still in that edit profile screen. If I go back, all the back navigation still works correctly. Everything is exactly the same as when, as before the process died. And if we go in here and we do a grep one more time, notice that the process ID is different. So we have a different process ID. It launched a new process, but the app still functions exactly as if we sent it to the background and brought it back. So we would say that this app passes the process death test. All right, so that's it for this video. If you like the video, let me know in the comments below or leave a like. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this where I interact with ADB. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.